time to walk, walk around, walking around the compound. Lions and tigers all around, see some cats when Derek walks around. <laughs> oh, got him to look. He actually was looking the other way. And then I snuffled and then he's like, yes. And these two. Not much of a reaction. Tigers. Tigers. Oh, I think I think something's dying over here. I think there's death happening down by my foot. Hmm. Nothing. Well, I tried all the tricks that I know. Looks like they're never gonna get it up. Why would you? On this beautiful day. This beautiful spring day. A beautiful spring day that coincidentally actually feels like spring. Who'd have thunk it? I think the temperature is like somewhere in the upper 60s right now. It's nice. Hello, Frederick James Buchanan Conison the third, Duke of Bridgeport, first of his name, but the third. Oh, you have a fly in your nose. Looks like you got it though. We got some different flies. Different flies around. Some of these is like really big, nasty ones. Bigger than normal. And then there, there's some of them, there's, I don't know if it's the big ones that are bitey, but there's some bitey flies too. Somewhere in between the, okay, certainly not a wasp. Uh, not even a honeybee, but more than a mosquito. So it hurts more than a mosquito, uh, but stings less than a honeybee. That's where on the, on the uh, pain slash annoyance scale that these flies and their bites, that's where I would place them. Hello all you big cat lovers out there, it's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi, hello, let's let's go look at some kitty cats. But here's this guy, there's Will. There's Will, hi. Hey. Hey mister. Got some purrs? Yeah. And then also there's uh, his peats. We're gonna do. We're gonna make sure that uh, we're categorizing and inventorying um, just the different, you know, bits, odds and ends, bits and pieces. All Pete's accounted for. Cool. Oh wait. Oh wait. Hold on. Hold on. All right, here you go. Oh. oh. Kind of hitching it. 
Munchie's got a hitch in his shoulder. He's had that for a bit. So don't know if it, uh, because uh, sometimes he gets into these weird arguments with like his big boomer balls. Um, don't know if it was possibly uh, like an alligator based misadventure. Who knows? But yeah, he's just got that, he's got that little, you know, that uh, kind of, yeah, what'd you do? What did you do? As of right now, the it's like it's a matter of just like, hey, monitor it, just make sure it, if it gets better, if it gets worse, um, possibly uh, do some anti-inflammatory type thing. Once Doctor Bill gets eyes on him. But you don't want to, you, like, for something, for something that, and I don't want to say it's in, like, completely inconsequential, but for something that seems low threat, as far as medical concerns are concerned. Medical concerns are concerned. Your options are limited because uh, the elements that go into being able to successfully diagnose they uh they come with their own form of risk so you could sit there and say like well he needs what about an x-ray or what about a ct or what about this well that means sedation and what if he's just got like just kind of like a little just like a swollen like a swollen muscle but then you run the risk of sedating and then run the risk of like hurting him for something that is again like lower on the lower on the rung of medical necessity remember dr bill uh talking about how like it's hard to diagnose one it's hard to diagnose animals just in general because they can't tell you they can't tell you what's going on it's doubly hard to diagnose these animals because you can't put your hands on them. I remember he said he's like, I wish I could get hands on them. Because for all the other, you know, dogs and cats and horses and cows and hamsters, a vet can pick them up and then, you know, like really uh -huh, and then kind of figure out what's going on. With these guys, you can't do that. They oftentimes say no. Or, or they might not say no. They might say like, oh, are we playing? I like to play. Let me play. But their version of playing, it, they, they, have, they have muscles. Muscles. People are like, well, what about the teeth and claws? No, no, no. Teeth and claws are very important. But they're, they, they don't do much if you don't got mu It's... The, my their muscles. Muscles are staggering. Just imagine like a a, a pallet of bricks coming to life and then just beating you up that would suck that's what it's like it, trying to fight a tiger <laughs> yeah just now imagine that pallet a pallet of bricks that a wizard said bivity poverty you have life now and then you take a like oh you know what this is it's gonna frighten the children just to have like a a pallet of bricks walking around 
people might start asking questions. Let me go get a velvety blanket. Nice and fuzzy. I'll put it on this pallet of animated bricks and it won't be so frightening. That's, that's the strength of, of a tiger. That's like what tigers, their, their weight, how much they can like, what they can do, how much they can throw themselves around. I said it before and I'll say it again. It's a, it's like a, it's a weird, it's a weird thing to feel, to feel them and to feel their strength and to feel their capabilities. And it, it's almost like it, when, if you ever are in a position where that's a thing, when I say it's a weird thing, it's like, it doesn't make sense. We walk around and we have frames of reference for it's like, oh, I drive a car and the steering wheel feels like this. And then I pick up a ruler and I can measure my things and, you know, and I can, I can do all these kind of things. I put on my shoes and that, that feels a certain way. I have like dimensional awareness for my surroundings and for the common items. And then these guys, they, they blow all of that out of the water. All of like the, I did not see the second tiger there. I only saw Jacob. I did not see Luca. Little, little, little sneaky Luca. I don't think even Luca was... Luca's like, I wasn't even trying to be sneaky. Because <laughs> I walked up and he was just like, Hey, what's up? Hi. Hey. <laughs> these handsome guys. Look at these handsome tigers. I guess it's also, you know, like, um, people, and this is, I wouldn't know, but I have heard, and like, when I say I wouldn't know, like, I legit don't, I don't know, because I've never done psychedelics, but there are people that would say, you know, like, oh, I took a certain type of psychedelic, and then I was able to basically, you know, like, speak, I was, like, people talk about DMT, I was able to then speak to uh, a geometric being in another dimension. And it's just like, that sounds crazy. I would have no frame of reference for what that must feel like or what that experience is like. But uh, I don't, I'm not doubting the fact that that's what you perceived in that, in that moment. I just have zero under, I have zero frame of reference for that. It is similar to, I think it's similar to that where, uh, there's like life before tiger and then life after tiger, BT and AT. Hopefully you're still around if you ever experience an AT. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like you'll work with these guys for years <laughs> and there's still those moments that just kind of creep back up and then to remind you like there may be a situation in which I uh, <laughs> it's not even there's or there's times where it's like i know what is this what are you doing what the, the arali and zubiri don't live here okay we don't need that we don't need that we don't need that Or I, I should say, like, the thing I'm going to describe is, like, I didn't need a reminder. I knew. But at the same time, it's like I had to do a thing. 
So I had to grab like one of like the strong hookers. Uh, not one of those thin flimsy ones. People are like, hooker. Like, you know what I'm talking about. So one of the hooks that we use to close the gates, but there's a number of them that are like thick, thick round steel. So there's weight to them and then they, they stay rigid. You know, these are, these are, these are like all floppy. But there was a thing inside an enclosure and I'm like, well, I'm going to try to get that thing. I'm going to try to use the hooker to then like grab it and then think and then hook and do the thing really quick. And it was in a rally in Zuberi's and a rally was just like, I don't like what you're doing. And I'm like, I, I know that you don't like what I'm doing, but I have to get that thing because I can't lock you guys up because you guys don't listen. <laughs> and he's just like, but I still don't like you doing that thing. I get it. I have to get the thing. And he's like, all right. <laughs> and he like, yeah, did the thing. And I'm just like, yeah, you're strong. <laughs> I, I hear you. I, 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 I really feel you. I sympathize with your plight. This is still happening. I know that you're going to be tossing me around. I get it. That can't be helped. So, it was short-lived. Got it done. Noe. Noe, noe. Noe. <gasps> Hi. Oh. Ah. Big stretchy girl. Big stretchy yawny girl. Yawn, 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 yawn. Yawn, 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 yawn. Yawn, yawn. Oh, you gonna roll? Yes, yeah, she is. You're so predictable. You're so predictable. It's a weird... It's like, a, I'm not going to say like, oh, it's a skill, but it's like a weird... Um, yeah, I guess skill. But I don't... It's like that old timer sitting on the porch... You know, and it's like, oh, my knee is starting to feel funny. I think rain's going to come. It's kind of like that. <laughs> it's just that weird. It's like a weird old timey sense. Yeah. It's like how like old prospect. Yeah. Like, what's his face? Uh, Yukon Cornelius. One of the greatest characters in the history of media. Uh, you know, picking up his pickaxe and like licking on it. I mean, that's, you know, kind of a thing that uh, prospectors, they would be able to kind of sample. Sample the earth and kind of have like an idea of like what type of sediment they're dealing with and what might be underneath the ground. I'm sure that I'm sure that there was a lot of people who thought that they had like a sense for that type of thing, but they they just didn't. Probably wasted just a ton of time. But they had like weird reputation. Like, I don't know. I think that guy's kind of. I think he knows stuff. And then you know, like this old guy with just a big dumb beard, just like sticks his and he's like, "Yeah, dig here." You know, and then a team of team of guys they start shoveling and pickaxing, and they're just there for days, and they just get, they come up with nothing. And they're like, "What the heck, Red?" And he's like, "I meant over there. I meant dig over there." <laughs> oh, okay. The boy, the boy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. I've been trying to get his weight back up. He was getting skinny there for a bit. He wasn't eating enough. But we're making sure that he's getting taken care of. Hi. 
Hi. Hi, Petey. Thanks for thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, she's a good girl. She's a good girl. Yeah. And then she starts rubbing, and then she starts getting slobbery, and then it's when she starts getting handsy, that's when I gotta be like, all right, I gotta, all right, okay, 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 okay. You start, you start getting too, like, it, whatever, you know, just like, hey, come on, come here, come here. I said, come here. <laughs> hey, baby. Yeah. Yeah, she's a good girl. Okay. All right. Well, you have some fresh food. Fresh. It looks like fresh, fresh, fresh horse chunks. Oh, look at Noe. She's up in the old. That's not John. Is that Johnson? No, ryegrass. Ryegrass. Noe, you're very pretty. She's like, I know. Yeah. She's like, it's kind of like, yeah. Like, <laughs> like yeah. Yeah, and? Mm. It's just, and it gets slobbery. Okay. And then you start, here's, the, it's like pause or one thing, and then you start doing claw stuff. Yeah, yeah, you get you get too wound up. Look at you. You're a mess. You're a mess. You're a mess. Malika the mess. All right. All right. Go boy. Go boy. You feel it? Are you feeling good? Are you in a good mood? Yeah? You got all your coloring done today? Did you play with blocks? Yeah, that's nice. Nice. Alrighty. Thanks for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dormus Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information. You keep those tigers fed. Big shout out to the extra fancy patrons. I see you. You are so fancy. And thank you so much for your continued support. And we'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye. Oh, there's a cat, cat that loves to squeak. Oh, there's a cat, cat. Stripes and there are cats with manes, so let's watch as Derek walks around the compound tonight.